Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, guys. I'm outside. Had a nice day in my neighborhood. Was going to do this video shooting some hoops, but I might get winded and out of breath. So, um, happy Tuesday, right? Today's topic is about courage, right? And fighting for what you want in your life. Fight for what you want in terms of goals, in terms of passion, in terms of what you want to be in your life. All right, so uh, before I forget, my, I've been saying April 30th is my first BTY seminar. It's actually April 27th, right? Saturday, April 27th in San Jose in person, but we're gonna, we're gonna do virtual, we're gonna stream it live, right? So wherever you're at, please register for my event, uh, my first BTY uh, seminar. It's gonna be about mentality, right? About mindset, about all the things that, that get you ready to fight for your dream, right? In terms of weight loss or body composition, yes, there's diets, there's workouts I can give you, but the mindset is first in terms of getting your degree uh, or, or building a career, right? Those things come with application and practice and studying, but the first steps of those are, are the mindset. So my BTY seminar is all about that, the five steps necessary to be great uh, at whatever you wanna be great at, all right? So, a little windy, I'm sorry. But so today, right, today I did a workout. I filmed it live on Instagram, right? It's, it was, a, it was a, a cardio, cardiovascular workout. I call it one and done, right? So we do this same concept for all kinds of stuff. We do it with every body part, but I did a, a, a conditioning, cardiovascular only, one and done workout. So you do a number of reps. What's up, Charles? A number of reps in one minute, and then you move on, right? It could be whatever you want. So today I did, 125 jump ropes in a minute, right? And then I did 10 box jumps at, at, at varying heights, getting higher, right? 10 box jumps in a minute. And then I did 125 ropes again in a minute, followed by 10 burpees. So 125 jump ropes, 10 box jumps, 125 jump ropes, and then 10 burpees. That was my, that was my circuit, each for a minute. Right, you're trying to get them knocked out quick. What's up, Big Raymond? I'm trying to get them knocked out, right, so you have some rest, right? That's a four minute round. I did 15 rounds of that, right? My highest boxes were 36 inches, right? I started off small to get warmed up, but my last six rounds, my last 24 minutes were, were in, were at a level of, can you hear me, can you hear me? Yeah, 125 jump ropes in a minute, yes, and then 10 box jumps in a minute, and then 125 ropes again in a minute, and then 10 burpees in a minute. So you try to knock them out quick and get some rest. You get one minute to finish it and rest. So that's four minutes, Charles, right? Four minutes, somebody, four minutes per round. I did 15 rounds, 60 minutes of cardiovascular work. I'll put that against anybody's cardio, against running, against treadmill, against whatever, right? That's 60 minutes of explosive cardiovascular work, right? So. My point is, right, when I was in the shower thinking about it and driving into work thinking about it, right, I was nervous, right? I, my workouts make me nervous, right? If your workouts don't make you a little bit nervous, a little bit scared of it, then they ain't hard enough. You ain't really pushing enough. If you ain't a little bit nervous about what you're about to do in your workout, it ain't hard enough, right? It's like going into a game. If, the, if you ain't scared, then you ain't high enough at the, at, at the level you want to be at. Your opponents should scare you sometimes not to the point of not playing them but to the point of of you want to get tested as far as who you are as an athlete as far as who you are as a person so the workout should test you right the workout should test you and if it's testing you it should make you a little nervous so i'm driving into my office to my gym and i'm nervous right i'm about to start and i'm going live so i can't bullshit right i don't bullshit anyway even by myself i train by myself so i have the ability to push me Right, Coach Bobby is as hard on Bobby as Coach Bobby is on everybody else, right? But I have the ability to fight through that. But when I go live, it's another level to it, right? It's another, what's up, B-Fave? B-Fave know me since the 90s, dog. You know I ain't changed, right? So when I, when I train myself, I push myself. But when I go live, it's another level of it, right? So I know I can't bullshit. So going live, doing the workout that I know is going to be hard had me nervous, right? I'm going back to 101st Airborne and the 82nd Airborne, of which my dad was a part of, 
Right? My dad served in the military, 23 years Army, right? Range, uh, uh, airborne, right? 101st, 82nd Airborne. And one of their mantras is courage. How they define courage is being afraid of what you're facing, but going anyway. Right? Being afraid of what you're up against, but going anyway. Right? That's the definition that the 101st Airborne, the 82nd Airborne assigned to courage. Courage ain't not being afraid. Courage is being afraid, but going anyway. Right? So I'm going to relate that. I know it ain't the same thing. I know it ain't war. We ain't in war. But it's the same concept. Right? So your dream is scary. Right? Eight years of school to be a doctor, that's daunting. Right? Losing 30 pounds, that's scary. Right? The workouts required to be great, that's scary. Right, trying to trying to trying to be a champion in sports is scary. Right, if if it's big enough, if the dream is big enough, if you want to be great, you gotta go through some challenges that scare you. Right, those 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 opponents in life, either 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 literally or metaphorically, should make you a little bit stressed. Right, that's what keeps us on our on edge. That's what keeps us at our on our A game. Is being on edge. Is being a little bit stressed. We're built that way as human beings. That's survival of the fittest. We're built to respond. Our bodies react the way they should react, the way, the way uh, that they've been, they've been uh, uh, meant to react through thousands of years. Right? That's why your heart gets a little faster. That's why you get goosebumps. That's why your temperature rises, because your body, right, your ancestors, right, over time, right, we evolved to respond to stimulus. Fight or flight. Fight or flight. So the problem is we stopped doing that. We stop getting nervous. We stop getting scared about stuff, right? And there's no wonder where, where, where we're at for 5, 10, 15, 20 years or worse. Right? We're not getting better because we ain't getting scared. Right? You want to get better, you better get scared sometimes. Right? Scared of that, of that business you want to start. Scared of that, of that new program in school you're going to start. Scared of asking that girl out. Scared of getting married. Scared of starting a family. Scared of whatever it is. Scared of, of changing your life and being healthier. That should make you a little bit nervous. It should make you a little bit nervous. Right? So, again, 101st Airborne, 82nd Airborne. Courage is not not being afraid. Courage is being afraid but saying, you know what? I'm going to go anyway. I'm going to go anyway. So, I'm afraid to do videos to this day. But I'm going anyway. Right, the workout I had to do today was scary. 125 jump ropes, 10 box jumps, 125 jump ropes, 10 burpees for 15 rounds, an hour of work. Once the clock starts, I'm at it for an hour? That's scary shit. Filming it makes it even more scary. Going live makes it more scary. Scarier. But I went anyway. Right? So you have a dream, guys. You have a goal. And it scares you. I get it. I get it. But we gotta go anyway. Right? We gotta go. If you wanna be great in life, you gotta go anyway. Jump out the airplane. Right? Start that program. Start your business. Start a family. Change your life health wise. Even when it scares you, especially because it scares you. That's how you know it's what you should be doing. That's how you know. Right? Our lives are spent Monday to Friday just getting by and then drinking on the weekends and eating abundantly and sleeping to feel better about ourselves, right? to numb ourselves from what we know in our heart we want to be doing. Right? So we numb it, right? we, ma we, we mask it, we, we, we hide it on the weekends and then get back to being average Monday to Friday again the following week because we're afraid to be afraid. Don't be afraid to be afraid. Ain't nothing wrong with that. My son, I ain't afraid of that. Ain't nothing wrong with being afraid, son. Nothing wrong with that. I want you to be afraid of some shit in life. Right? When you, as, as you grow up and you build, you're going to be afraid. You're going to face challenges that you must go through to be great. Right? Sports analogies, right? The, the, the 92 Cowboys had to go through the Niners to be great. This year's, this year's basketball playoffs, you better get, I know the Warriors lost, but you want to be great, you got to go through the Warriors. Right? So, you want to be great, you got to go through the eight years of school to be great. Is it scary? Yes. You got to go fight it. You want to lose weight? Got to face that workout today. Got to face that diet today. You got to face it. 
even when it's scary. Not even when it's scary, because it's scary. Because it's scary, right? Be faith, be faith and I battled back in the 90s. I would have had it no other way than to face the best receivers. Sure, you can get by sometimes with an easier class, right? With an easier first round opponent in the playoffs, with the easier receiver to face in one-on-ones. But eventually, if you want to be great, you got to face that shit. I got to line up against b Fave and face them. Right? The Niners, the, the, the Cowboys had to go through the Niners eventually. This whole playoff seating, they got to go through the Warriors eventually. Your first round might be easy, Bucks. Second round might be easy. But eventually, you got to go through greatness to be great. And you want it to be a, be a little scary. I, I embrace it. Right, Greg? I embrace it. Right? I want my shit to be scary. I want my workout to make me nervous. In fact, when I'm doing it, I'm, I'm thinking about bragging about it. Afterward, I wanted it to be so hard that it's braggable. That I can go online and post what I did. If it's easy, I can't post what I did. Who cares? Who posts that they finished undergrad? Get your graduate degree. Then post that shit. Who posts that they're a VP or something? Be a, be a president. Be a CEO. Be great. Right? I know, I know it's scary. I know. I want you to have... Hey, we... We evolved, right? We don't come from, from, from fear, right? Survival of the fittest, that's a real thing. Our ancestors, they lived their life with courage. I don't care who you are. Your, your mom, your dad, your grandparents, your great-grandparents for sure, they didn't have, they, they, they faced fear. They came over here from wherever it was, Vietnam, Korea, Africa, Italy. They came here with nothing. Right? They, 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 they were afraid. They were afraid. They faced it with courage, with fight, with vigor. And you can't do a diet or a burpee or, or study for a damn test. We ain't built that way, Anita. You know that. We ain't built that way. We built to fight. We built to have courage. It's in our DNA. If you don't believe me, let somebody run to your house right now and grab your baby. I promise you, it's going to click the courage you have inside of you. Let, let your baby be trapped un, under a car. I promise you, it's going to click in. If you're walking down the street, let somebody grab your arm. I promise you, it's in our DNA to fight, to have courage. Right? Being fear is part of being human. And so I use my workouts as a way to test myself, to continue to get better at, at being courageous. And fighting through stuff that I'm afraid of. I use my, 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 my Facebook lives for the same reason. It's a muscle. Right? Courage is a muscle. And most of us have stopped using that muscle. Now it's atrophied. Whatever life gives us, we'll take it. Right? And so we're in the middle of life. Right? We ain't, we ain't poor enough. We ain't fat enough. We ain't unhappy enough to change. But we ain't feeling great about who we are. Right? We ain't going to the pool with confidence. Right? We ain't buying whatever we want. Right? We ain't walking through our, our office place feeling good about where we are in the company. Just enough to be to feel okay, to be average. We ain't built that way, guys. We're not. So go out and work that courageous muscle. Go do shit like Patty does. Go do shit you're afraid of. Right? Like Spartan races. Go do something you're afraid of. Like speaking, Coach Bobby, go do some, work that muscle regularly. I know it's hard. I know I spent 10 minutes today getting ready for the damn workout, doing everything in the world to, to delay it, to procrastinate, right? But the game was going to start. I only had an hour and a half to get it done. It's an hour workout, so I couldn't wait too long, right? So I turned my camera on and I went to work. An hour later, I was done. An hour later of pain, I was done. But I faced it. And that muscle, that, cur that, that courage muscle is stronger now. Right? I couldn't do videos, I promise you. I couldn't do live videos 10 years ago. I dropped classes in college that had, as part of the grade, a, a oral presentation. I dropped them. I was so afraid to speak. But I kept doing it. 
right? I, I decided I want to be great at what I do. I want to be a great motivator because I because God gave me things that I can give to people, but the but but the, the fear of speaking was the roadblock. I couldn't give you all this all these messages, and I couldn't use my persona in the way I want to use it if I was, if I stay behind that fear of public speaking. So even though it was a, it was scary, it's still scary. I do like the 101st Airborne does, and I go anyway. I do like the 82nd Airborne does, like my dad was a part of, and I go anyway. My dad, people in the military, they're they afraid. They're afraid. Navy SEALs, they're afraid. Firemen, they're afraid. But they have courage because they go anyway. They go anyway. And so whatever you're trying to be in life, man, whatever you want to be in life, don't be afraid to be afraid of it. But don't let that fear stop you from chasing it, from fighting it, from going after it, from going after who you know you are inside of you. This ain't you. Where you, wherever you at now, this ain't you. I don't care where you at in life. You could be up here already. It ain't you. You better than that. I promise you. My boy Greg Tell, I look up to him. He's even better than where he's at. He up here. He even better than that. Right? So every week, find something that scares you. A workout, a presentation, a new course, whatever. Find something that scares you and then go fight it. And build that muscle. Not these muscles. This muscle. This muscle. Go build that. And then that dream gets, gets closer to you. And it comes to you. Because you're willing to put yourself on the line. To put your fear on the line. Again, not because you ain't afraid. Not because you ain't scared. Not because you ain't nervous. But like the 82nd Airborne says, right? Real courage is being afraid, being nervous, being scared. But buckling up and going anyway. So go after it, guys. Go after what you want. Love you. Bye-bye.